sky Watching stars align Days of making sweet honey Melissa Lemon balm Nights as warm as your breath On my chest so calm
just awarded 211 million less than he expected and after months of illegal drama the terminally ill cancer patient has agreed to a reduced award amount of 78 million dollars from Monsanto um, and it is said that he got he got the cancer from Santo has been in the news a lot um, about some of their practices, about some of their um, seeds that they have, and, and, and I wonder if it's really true. They said that, um, I'm not bad nothing because I don't know, okay, they said that um, if farmers, I know I did something on this years back in San Francisco, it was a well-known filmmaker from India who did a complete documentary on this. So, what they're saying is that if you grow your fruits and vegetables from seeds from Monsanto, and this is in a third world country, India, that you cannot take the seeds from the fruit and grow another fruit. So you know how when you have a pineapple, you cut off the top of the pineapple and you can plant the pineapple by putting it into dirt and you have another pineapple tree. Or you take the seeds from the lemons and you have more lemons. Or um, avocados, you have more avocado, avocados. Um, the seeds from cherries, you have more cherries. And on and on and on and on. on. So, um, we're going to go talk to someone from Monsanto. I'm not sure if they're going to speak with us, but that's where I, I'm headed. Follow me. Let's go talk to them. Let's see what they're going to talk about. And have you had your green tea today, girl? Filling <laughs> up with Monsanto. So, um, I was tonight entrance to Monsanto, who was purchased by Bayer. So we're gonna come back another time, you guys. Sorry, it just won't be today. There's a lot of fires burning up here. Uh, yeah. We have to be so careful of <laughs> what's in the air. So the company asked, um, Monsanto fought back and the company asked San Francisco Superior Court Judge Suzanne Bolanos to overrule the jury's entire award for punitive damages. It almost worked. But last month, the judge uh, granted Monsanto's request. Then she denied it. But she reduced the punitive damages to about $39 million. Um, the doctor said that Dwayne Johnson's doctor said he had big losing lesions on 80% of his body. That's really sad. So, to avoid any further burden of trial and appeal, they did award him $39 million. So, you have to really protect yourself, and there are thousands of cases like this hanging in the balance across the country, and uh, Monsanto is carefully monitoring Johnson's case because this could set a precedent for more than 4,000 similar cases awaiting trial. Um, I got my nails done the other day. And I was talking with my technician. She was saying how sad she was because a, a recent friend of hers died of cancer 
which is sad. She's only 41. And she said it was lung cancer. She said she didn't smoke, she didn't drink, and she basically took care of herself and said, let me know what it was. When they do the nails, they grind them down and put powders and everything. And she wasn't wearing a mask. So she was taking all of this into her lungs. I mean, even at, when we get our nails done, we should wear a mask and the technician should wear a mask because that takes a toll on your body. You know, it's pretty and we do all this in the name of beauty, but come on. And little UV lights that you know that you, after they do your nails, you stick your hands in for a quick dry and a good, nice, hard finish. Um, that can cause cancer. So it's good to get little gloves and just like cut out the little part. Just put the gloves on and cut out the little part just so you can stick the fingers in just so it can dry there because that's not good for your body either. We do so many things that look good that's not really good for us. So um, drink your green tea, get those antioxidants into your body, your supplements, do everything you can to stay healthy and positive. And positive has a lot to do with it, believe me. We should, our bodies were designed to live for hundreds of years. We should, in this day and age, in the type of technology we have, we should live to be over 100. Even people in my, I was born in the 60s. So people that were born in the 60s and, and older, we should live to be way over 100. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Just take care of your bodies and be careful in the workplace.